In this video, I'm going to be going over how to fit a roof slate vent. Now, you can get many different types of slate vents, but in this video, we're going to be fitting this one shown here. This is the top side, and then the underneath here, which shows the section that which would penetrate into the felt and create the ventilation. These vents can be used to either ventilate the loft space, which is what I'm going to be doing in this video, or it could be attached to a extractor fan in the bathroom, the section at the back there, you can get an adapter which will then attach to a tube connected to an extractor fan in the bathroom. A vital tool for removing slates which you're going to need is a slate ripper as shown here. This is a tool that's used to slide between the slates and hook behind the nail and pull the nail out. The two little uh, arrows here indicate the sections that are used to pull the nail. In order to fit a slate vent, you're going to have to remove five slates as indicated here. The one in the center of these five is where the vent will go. Each slate should have two nails as indicated here in the position with the red dot. On a fiber cement slate, you're going to have to loosen with your hammer the rivet, which is holding the slate down at the tail there. There's the uh, slate ripper. So you want to get between the slates as shown and basically pull the nails out. I mean, ideally you don't really want to cut them because it's going to leave a little bit of a nail still sticking out the back, which is going to obstruct the slate when you're trying to fit it back together again. There's the first slate out. I'll take out the top two on the pattern as shown earlier. So next, basically, on the bottom two slates, you're going to have to cut a hole as indicated here. Prior to taking them out, it's best to mark on the slate where the hole needs to be cut. In order to do that, just fit the slate vent relatively in place for where it will be situated and mark with the pencil an outline of the area that needs to be cut. Here's the bottom two slates removed. In order to cut the hole, you're going to need a slate cutter, something like this, basically a pair of scissors for slates in effect. Cut the two edges down the slate as indicated in this photograph. Then on old slates that are get relatively brittle, it's quite easy just to then knock it out as shown. On newer slates you might have to cut with the slate cutters in a few more places and knock the pieces out as shown but the older ones it's a bit easier because they are quite brittle. Next you need to mark on the felt the same shape as what you've just cut out of the slates and then diagonally with a knife just cut out the hole. Then it's going to be folded back as indicated here. Use clout nails to fix the flap onto the batten as indicated. Next you're going to want to refit the first bottom two slates. As there is only one nail hole on each slate exposed, go ahead and put a nail through that. Then it's also very important that you also fit a copper rivet on these fibre cement slates, which looks like this. This slides between the two below slates and comes through the hole which is factory made on, on all these slates. It needs to come through as indicated and be bent downwards. Now the first two slates are fitted and the hole is there ready to receive the slate vent which is going to need two nails and a copper rivet fitted as indicated. It's also important that the top of the slate rests on the batten above. Don't have the top of the slate missing that because it could potentially cause a leak, it's not going to be secure. Then it's just a case of fitting the top two slates. Sometimes, depending on what kind of slate vent you have, you will need to cut them as indicated here, again with your slate cutters. On the top two slates, you're not going to be able to nail them because the nail holes are hidden. So get some silicon adhesive and squirt some underneath the slate as indicated. And then it's very important after that, that you fit a copper rivet. An option for fixing the top two slates is to use a slate hook as indicated, which nails into the batten above 
and just simply hooks around the bottom of the slate to keep it in place. And that, my friends, is how to fit a slate vent. On this particular roof, I fitted four to the front and four to the back, which uh, completely resolved a condensation problem in the loft space. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching, and as ever, jobs are good.